Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania just bravely showed up alone with big surprise for everyone who trashed her for weeks. The media loves to trash the first family. They will make up whatever story that will get the ratings even if it's fake news. Hence why they're called fake news, they have zero standards anymore. The pursuit of truth isn't their main objective anymore. It's all about the ratings. First Lady Melania Trump has been MIA for a few weeks after she had surgery for her benign kidney. No one knew she had surgery, therefore, the media started making false accusations. They claimed a rocky relationship with the president. The media felt it was their job to find out where the First Lady had been. In the middle of May, the news was released that First Lady Melania Trump had to undergo kidney surgery. The 48-year-old was hospitalized for several days after the surgery and remained out of the public eye for a few weeks while recovering. During that time, the mainstream media managed to think of several harmful rumors surrounding Melania's whereabouts. President Trump spoke out on social media attempting to dispel those rumors, though they continued to circulate. On May 16, First Lady Melania released her first statement after the surgery. Two weeks later, she had to address the rumors herself. Last week, the First Lady made her first public appearance since the surgery. She hosted a private White House event for Gold Star families. The First Lady gave remarks to conclude the gala, which included performances and awarded philanthropist Sheila C. Johnson and golfer Jack Nicklaus with the Lincoln Medal, an annual award given to people who have exemplified the character and legacy of the 16th president. I was honored to be part of such a special evening, said Mrs. Trump according to a White House press release. Tonight reminds all of us about the power the arts have in cultivating the American voice. Thank you to Ford's Theatre Society for tonight, and your continued dedication to education and leadership in the arts, the impact they have on society is invaluable and something we will continue to cherish throughout time. Sharing photos of her night out in the nation's capital, the First Lady wrote on Twitter, Thank you at Ford's Theatre and the talented performers for a special evening celebrating the arts and the legacy of former President Lincoln. Congratulations to it Jack Nicklaus and Sheila Johnson, the recipients of the Lincoln Medal. The gala performance was also attended by Vice President Mike Pence, Karen Pence and a number of dignitaries. On Wednesday, Mrs. Trump joined her husband for her first public appearance in 27 days following a successful kidney procedure. President Trump began the briefing on hurricane preparedness at FEMA headquarters by thanking his wife. She went through a little rough patch but she's doing great, he said. The people of our country love you. Thank you, honey." The First Lady stood solemnly beside her husband as he spoke, and pool reporters covering the event did not hear her speak. One reporter noted that Mrs. Trump, 48, was looking well, like her old self, perfectly healthy from at least her outward appearance. As the president headed to Canada for the G7 summit on Friday without Mrs. Trump by his side, he assured reporters that the First Lady is doing great, but can't fly on doctor's orders. She wanted to go, he told reporters before boarding Marine One en route to Quebec. Can't fly for one month. President Trump landed in Singapore Sunday ahead of his sit-down with Kim Jong-un about Trump's push for the nation to denuclearize. It's set to be the first in-person encounter between a sitting U.S. president and a North Korean leader. I am on my way to Singapore where we have a chance to achieve a truly wonderful result for North Korea and the world. It will certainly be an exciting day and I know that Kim Jong-un will work very hard to do something that has rarely been done before, create peace and great prosperity for his land," Trump said in a series of tweets. I look forward to meeting him and have a feeling that this one-time opportunity will not be wasted. Not only were guests commenting on the First Lady's kind words, they also noticed her sparkling gown. As usual, Melania's timeless fashion sense was evident in her silver, navy, and white sparkly ensemble proved that yet again. People. It's a damn shame when the First Lady is living her life, and the media treats her like total trash. There are no standards left in media, and we see that. The media would have never treated the Obamas like this. If I recall, Michelle, and the kids were off-limits. Why isn't Melania, and Barron off-limits? The nasty things that have been said about little Baron Trump is disgusting. Sasha, and Malia would have never been treated like that. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.